Welcome back to our channel Active Catalyst. In this video, I'll be discussing important questions from module 2 and the content you have to present in your answer in order to gain full mark for that question. Each of the question in this video is scheduled for 10 mark and some of the question is also scheduled for 20 marks. So let's see like how it goes. The first question is divide and conquer. In it comes to divide and conquer, this is the fixed question from module 2. If you don't study this, you are almost losing 10 marks. So, same question, like you have to explain divide and conquer. Basically, in divide and conquer, we have merge sort, insertion sort and quick sort. Among these three, any of the sorting techniques they can ask. When they ask you to explain, you have to write the algorithm first. After algorithm, you have to do analysis. Now, what is analysis is either see you have to check whether it comes in recursive or non-recursive okay in the first module whatever we have studied right same way thus in the second module you have to identify whether it is recursive or non-recursive and analyze the algorithm so while analyzing also you have to be able to explain regarding the best case worst case and average case now some of you all are finding difficult to uh, derive with the steps like for best case average case and all like it may be some you get some uh, equation right so you might be able to not remember the exact equation in that case what to do is just remember the last equation what you get the order of growth okay uh, so if you remember that at least you'll get one marks now you may ask what is the uh, marks allocated for deriving the best case worst case and average case three marks so two marks for derivation and one mark for final um, final answer that is order of growth that you will be writing so it depends so if you forget equations it's fine but don't forget to write the final answer because there is a high chance of allocating marks suppose if you forget make sure that you're not scratching anywhere like the derivation part what you do even if you think it's wrong like don't scratch it you may lose the marks because examiner will identify that okay this person has got confused in these steps so maybe i can remove the marks from you so that is how it works okay so i've given some example questions also these example questions are again taken from the pyqs this one you can see and for quick sort they have asked so many questions so by this only you can guess that how much important is the quick sort also for merge sort i've given some examples along with the numbers they can give you alphabets also alphabets is simple you have to arrange it in alphabetical order a comes first z comes last same way then for Strassen's multiplication, you have to even learn the time complexity derivation. Okay, that is important because some of you will read the question but forget to compute the time complexity. For that, 3 marks is allocated. Remaining 7 marks is allocated for Strassen's multiplication. This answer you can actually find directly in calculator. But the thing what VTO expect from you is writing the correct formulas. To write the correct formulas, you may get confused. So in the next video, I'll be uploading the trick like how to write the exact formula and exact value, how you will get the answer. I'll upload that in the next video. Strassen's multiplication, you need no need to worry. Then comes the DFS and just make a correction here as source removal method. I hope you know this method so I've given few examples just two examples solve this if you are able to solve this for uh, DFS and source removal then you will be able to solve all kind of uh, questions related to this because this is kind of complicated from one question you can learn any kind of other questions similar problems as well then coming to the seventh one we'll very less questions okay variations of decrease and conquer that is what we had uh, learned like previously we were about discussing about the divide and conquer then comes the decrease and conquer you have to just know the variation no need of learning any extra algorithms then the knapsack problem regarding the knapsack problem uh, where to practice the question is i have posted one question mark refer that question mark which is sent in the vtu fourth sem engineering group then comes the traveling salesman problem where you visit each of the node and visit back to the same node that is important again then comes the binary search as a iterative and recursive both iterative method and recursive method as different you have to study both because both are asked in the pyqs what is the thing that you should not be missing from the entire module is divide and conquer especially the merge sort then comes the insertion sort i could find this too in all of the questions for quick sort more than asking about the algorithm they have asked questions 
see multiple questions are asked and strassen's multiplication is also fixed in like 1 and 2 is for in the final exam question paper 1 and 2 question is for module 1 right so 3 and 4 is for module 2 so fourth a question will be strassen's multiplication always then comes the source removal and ddf which is also important it's easy like you need not by heart anything nothing you just understand you solve it you'll get the answer that's all then it's easy so we'll meet in the next video with the next set of questions of module 3 if you have any doubts regarding these questions you can ask i'll try to post strassen's multiplication trick of remembering all the formulas very soon so all the best